Now from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, the FBI says they're offering a reward for any information about the start of the fires near Ridoso. While the Bureau says they're still looking for the official costs, they say they're offering a $10,000 reward for any information that will, quote, lead to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for starting the fires. Anyone with information is asked to call 1-800-CALL-FBI. The number on your screen or online at tips.fbi.gov. ABC 7 also learned on Saturday that some people are allowed to return to their homes impacted by the South Fork fire and the Salt fire yesterday afternoon. We'll get to who can re-enter the area in a minute. But first we want to give you an update on how those fires are continuing to rage in the Redose region. The work fire crews have been putting in to contain those fires is showing. The South Fork fire is now 31% contained as of last night and the smaller salt fire remains at 7% contained. But the fires are still growing. According to Watch Duty, the South Fork fire has now consumed more than 17,500 acres, while the South Fire has grown to nearly 8,000 acres. Members from the Texas Division of Emergency Management's a &M Task Force 1 are now in New Mexico to conduct search and rescue operations at FEMA's request. This has helped bolster the number of personnel helping with fire to more than 1,000. The death toll remains at two and 1,400 structures have been destroyed. Some permanent residents are allowed to return to their homes in some burned areas of Ruidoso starting now, according to Lincoln County. The evacuation order was lifted for some permanent local time residents at 5 p.m. yesterday, meaning they can start returning into the village through U.S. Highway 380. The neighborhoods and subdivisions that can return include ranches of, of Santera 1, 2, and 3, Rancho Ruidoso, Valley Estates, and Enchanted Forest. Starting today at 8 a.m., the order will be lifted for Ruidoso Downs. The property is going east on U.S. 70 between Ruidoso Downs and El Valle Loop, as well as Sierra Vista, Sun Valley, and Via Madonna subdivisions. All other areas affected by the fire are still under evacuation orders. However, Ridoso leaders announced yesterday morning that all other permanent residents can start returning to the unburned areas of the rest of the village at 8 a.m. on Monday. Second homeowners that may own vacation properties or tourists will not be allowed back in for the time being. Village leaders say this is to allow full-time residents to assess their properties and needs. Officials say these, those returning should be prepared for no electricity, running water or gas on their properties and should also bring a week's worth of groceries and water. A water boil advisory may also be issued if any of the village's water systems are found to be damaged or compromised. The poor air quality that continues to linger in the area may also be problematic for anyone suffering from breathing issues. Those entering Ruidoso through U.S. Highway 380 may have encountered some police activity yesterday. New Mexico State Police posted on X last night that they are investigating an officer-involved shooting involving the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office. In the region, U.S. Highway 380 runs west into Carrizoso through Capitan and continues east towards Roswell. Police say no deputies nor the suspect were shot. We're still working to learn where exactly on Highway 380 the investigation is happening. We'll keep you posted as soon as we know. Find, uh, the administrator on site uh, when we're still fighting the fire is a testament to the clear commitment to do everything we can to support the men and women in this community, to rebuild, to start that recovery and to mitigate continuation of damaging issues like flooding. The governor of New Mexico giving an update on the federal help that's coming at a press conference at the Reed Doso Convention Center. FEMA Administrator Dion Criswell was also present, along with Reed Doso Mayor Lynn Crawford and Mescalero Apache Tribe President Thora Padilla. During the conference, Criswell said the federal government will be offering assistance to those who evacuated as well as to those who lost their homes. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham also said state benefits that are being offered won't interfere with federal benefits. ABC 7 has been keeping you updated on the wildfires all week, not only online, but also on the KVIA News app. Download the app to receive all the latest updates as crews continue to battle the fires.